Hi everyone. I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say. As always, please keep in mind that I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so only take this if it resonates. Only take this if you feel like this is your specific energy group. Never try to force it to fit. If it's your reading, it's it's going to make sense to you. Um, it's going to resonate with you well. Okay. Always use your intuition. Use discernment. And I really appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking the videos and sharing. If you feel like maybe you know someone that needs to hear these messages. And I appreciate your comments. I love hearing from you guys too and seeing how these readings apply to your life. So thank you guys so much for the support. Okay, let's get right into it. What do the cards want to say? What's the message for this specific energy group? Pregnancy. Someone's expecting and it doesn't have to be okay. So it so for some this is an actual pregnancy, but for like 80 or 90% of you, I don't feel like this is actually a physical pregnancy. I feel like you planted the seeds and something that you've been trying to manifest is finally you're you're finally going to see results in the physical world. You've been expecting this. I feel like whatever this is that's coming in, whether it's new love or it's a career opportunity, abundance, I feel like you have a lot of faith in it. Even when it's been hard, it's like you can telepathically feel it. I feel like your spirit guides have been encouraging you and telling you that it's just around the corner um, and, and really encouraging you to manifest it and visualize it and feel it as if you have it in the present moment. And I feel like your vibration is is rising and you're just you're aligning with this. You're aligning, you're you're getting on that timeline where what you want exists, what you want is already manifested. It says tell the universe exactly what you want. So it's like get very clear about what you want. That's another key to manifestation too. Like I was saying, it's like you want to visualize it and word it and feel it as if you have it in the present moment. Cause if you use words like someday or you just think, oh, like next month or next month, you know, next year, then it's like you're always kind of pushing it away from you it's always just you know close but just out of reach so really tune into that energy of like it's it's happening now it's here for you it's available now you're you're getting on that timeline now where this this manifestation already exists open up your heart it will help you attract more love okay so this could be a love manifestation someone is still figuring themselves out sexuality this could even be a um this could be a gay or lesbian relationship as well. Let me see here. Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. Earth sign could be an earth sign you're dealing with. Gold digger, they want your money being used. Hmm. It's really interesting. Give me a second here, guys. Expect to hear from them soon. What I'm getting from this, this feels like a past person. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they have strong earth placements. And I feel like they want to use you for your energy. I feel like this person senses that you're, it's like you're glowing up. You're manifesting what you want. You're manifesting abundance. Um, and you're possibly manifesting a new soulmate. And I feel like this person can energetically feel it. It's like you're looking very attractive right now. You're physically attractive. Your energy is attractive. You're very seductive right now. You might even be in your uh, sexual energy right now. And I just feel like this person from the past, it's like, even if you guys aren't talking, I feel like they're hearing about it through friends or just energetically, like telepathically. I feel like this person has some kind of awareness that there's somebody new that's in your energy field. There's somebody new that's coming into your life, even if they're not actually physically in your life quite yet. Tell me more about this. Someone's got their eye on you. You are, you are doing your research. Yeah, this person is narcissistic. I feel like a narcissist is who's spying on you here. Someone is too full of themselves. Someone's doing your research. I feel like this person is, um, 
I almost feel like if you have people on your social media, like if you add new people, I feel like this person goes to their social media and like stalks them and tries to see if this is someone that you're talking to or dating. Like they go and they scroll through and they see if you've liked their pictures or their comments. They they watch the way that you two are engaging because I'm getting something about social media coming in very strongly specifically. So it's like there because they're really watching you like they're doing research like I said for some it's through friends they're just asking about you they're trying to keep tabs on you they're trying to figure out what's going on in your life I just I also kind of think that this person I, I feel like this person expected you to stay depressed or they expected you to be in a certain energy consistently because whatever's happened lately like within the last month or two or this could even be like a current energy I, I feel like you've really changed something about yourself and this could be going to the gym more eating healthy just taking a better care of your body um, being more motivated to reach your goals it's, it's like I feel like you're setting it could even be like setting early New Year's resolutions for yourself like you know, like by the end of the year, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to weigh this amount or I'm going to, you know, be on a healthy diet or I'm going to, you know, have completely uh, cut out gluten by the end of the year or something like that. It's, it's like you you have these goals in mind, like you're really motivated to meet your goals. You're really taking your power back and taking control of your life and really taking your health more seriously. I'm getting because I'm getting something about like your physical appearance and your physical health, particularly because this person is noticing an energy difference in you and it's making them really nervous. Like I said, even if they can't physically see it, which for some they probably can see it, like physically through your pictures or maybe what friends are saying. Um, maybe you even have a, like a mutual friend that kind of wants to rub it in this face like, oh yeah, you lost her, you lost him, you're not getting him back. Uh, something of that sort. But um, but even if they can't physically see you, it's like energetically, they can just kind of sense a shift in you. You know, you're not in the same energy you were in before. Because I almost get like, I don't want to say your energy was dull before, but it's it's almost like what I'm channeling is like, I feel like there was like this, this neutral energy, like a dullness kind of. And then all of a sudden it's like, there's all this color, all this, this uh, high vibrational energy, this, this fun, passionate, exciting energy. So like maybe you talked about traveling for months and months and months and, and you never did it. And then out of nowhere, you surprise everyone and you're like, I'm going on a trip to Vegas or I'm going, I'm leaving the country for a month. And this person's like caught off guard because they're like, oh, wow, like, you know, she's actually doing it or he's actually doing it, you know, or you've been talking about going to the gym forever. And now it's like you're actually doing it and you're posting about it on social media. And this person's like, oh, my God, like they're actually really doing it. Like I never, it, it's, it's almost like they, they thought you were bluffing and it's pretty sad, but it, it's like, they thought when it comes to, you know, your passions, your hobbies, you know, self-care in general, uh, taking care of your body. It's like, they, they thought that you were bluffing. They thought that whatever you were talking about doing, whatever goals you were talking about meeting. Um, and it could be like, like, uh, career or music or art or just like like I'm gonna open an Etsy shop or some, things like that they they kind of it, it's almost I don't want to say they don't have faith in you but kind of it's like they never thought that you would really do it maybe and and maybe it was like maybe you maybe you're the type that procrastinates and so they just saw you talk about it for so long and they're like yeah that's it's never gonna happen but I feel like something shifted recently where you're already doing it, like you just started doing it, like you just you just opened the shop or you just started going to the gym or you just you you made something happen in the physical or you're about to like you're finally very close to it. And I feel like this narcissist is just going to be shook, like they're just going to be all shook up by it because they're going to because it, it also I think it's also going to scare them a little bit because they like to feel like they had control over your energy and seeing you do something so unpredictable and realizing that they don't have you all figured out like they thought they did is going to really catch them off guard. Is like, let's say, for example, you were talking about going to the gym for a long time and you just never did it. So they had it in their head like, oh, he or she is never going to really commit to having their their ideal body or maybe you stop talking about it and then it's so it's like out of nowhere you're posting pictures of yourself at the gym and they're just like like wait a minute what's happening like what this is like a huge change this is a, a shift that I didn't see coming um 
So it's almost like old reliable isn't old reliable anymore. You know, you know, it, it's like they don't have you all figured out and, it, and that's going to make them really nervous since they don't know what's going on in your life. Um, so I do feel like this person, yeah, it's like they're just going to feel the energy shift and I feel like they're also going to be aware that your energy, whatever you're doing differently, you're going to like a higher timeline. You're aligning with these energies of... Um, how do I explain it? I mean, maybe you kind of let yourself go to a degree before, like you weren't leaving the house or you were depressed or you just, there's something about it that, about your routine or about your energy that was just stagnant, predictable. So, I mean, even if this person, this narcissist loved you in their own toxic way, they were still like, well, I don't need to worry about, you know, losing them for good because they're still not going out and meeting anybody. They're still not leaving the house or they're still not taking care of themselves. Like, I don't, you know, they, they don't have options in love. I don't need to worry about it. But but yeah, whatever you've done recently um, with, you know, bettering yourself, it also, you know, comes with more options in, in romance and love. You have more potential suitors now uh, because of this shift, because your energy is so much more attractive. So anyway, this narcissist, it's like they're they're spying on you now and they're trying to really figure out what's going on. Because it's like now there actually is that fear of losing you. Like now it, it's like kind of recognizing when it's too late, like, oh, he or she is is back on their game. They're they're um, they are a catch. You know, this person is a catch. Like what am shit? <laughs> like, what do I do next? <laughs> yeah, I just keep getting with the spying card. I just keep getting social media specifically like they're they're just it's like if you're talking to people, they're they're like giving them the evil eye or something like they're they're going and they're trying to f like figure out who is this who is this person how did how do they meet them do they meet at a party did they meet at work like what's the connection you know like they're they're trying to do some research i feel like some of them if, you, if they have mutual friends they might even try to find out about people that you're that you're talking to publicly on like maybe some kind of social platform and they're trying to do it in a subtle way like oh oh is that that um Oh, is that 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 new person that they're talking to? Oh, is that someone from that must be that person from work, right? Like they're going to like try to make it casual so that it doesn't seem like they're trying to get information, but really they're trying to figure out. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what's going on. Honeymoon. So we've got divorce, experiencing a breakup, honeymoon. What's this about? Honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. There could have been a wedding that they attended that made them see love differently. Like they, maybe they didn't, maybe after experiencing a breakup, they didn't want to let someone in again. And then it's like they went to someone's wedding. That's just for someone specific. And they kind of, they're like, wait a minute. You know what? I do still want this. I do still want marriage long term. I do eventually want this. I also see it as a love bombing warning. Ha! Ah, love bombing warning. This narcissist might try to love bomb you, because now they're experiencing the breakup. Whereas before, I feel like you were the one that was depressed over this. You were the one that was upset, and now you're you're the one that's going through their glow up phase. You know, and that whole time they might have been trying to make you jealous. Or they were just kind of doing their own thing, or they weren't showing you if they were in pain too. Um, and I think you were just you. You know. Like I see someone just kind of on the couch, like eating ice cream and not really wanting to do much of anything. Um, it happens, you know, it's, it's, it's totally, it's a normal part of life. But, um, but yeah, now they're in that boat. I feel like now they're the ones that are, it, it's like, you have the control, you have the power now. It could be a water sign involved here. Tell me more about this. Challenges, make a decision. Work on inner healing. Yes, luck is on your side. Patience. Just a few more th months. Good things come to those who wait. Because yeah, I feel like you do have love coming in. And it doesn't have to be a few months away. It could be sooner than that. But it, it's like... You might have challenges, you might have karmic challenges where it's like you're going to have to put your foot down with this narcissist and not let them back into your energy field. 
gambling. A lost loved one watches over you. To me, actually, this feels positive. I feel like gambling is, um, I feel like gambling is taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. And I feel like it's like a spirit guide that's going to lead both you and this new soulmate to take a leap of faith. I think you guys have both probably been hurt a lot. And I feel like this new spirit guide is going to like, like reveal them to you and vice versa. You know what I mean? So if you're getting confused by all the different options, it's like, I think your spirit guides are going to make it really clear. They're like the, the people that are narcissistic or the people that are not compatible with you. I feel like they're going to slip up. Like there's going to be little signs in their body. Like if you watch for them, there's going to be signs in, you know, the way they talk, their body language, their actions, their behavior, their energy, things that you'll pick up that let them let that let you know that they're not for you. And, you know, the opposite is true. The person that is for you, I feel like there's going to be synchronicities. Like your spirit guides are going to show you that there's compatibility, that you, you know, your body feels safe around them. You feel open around them. You feel comfortable. You get lots of green flags and, and not really seeing any red flags with this, this new soulmate. And so, and it could be a water sign too that's a new soulmate for you. Um, doesn't have to be though. But anyway, I feel like I feel like your spirit guides are going to show you who is and who isn't worth the risk. I feel like the spirit guide's going to like come through so that because you know, you and this new soulmate are probably not gonna want to take a new chance on just anybody after all you've both been through. Um, so your spirit guides are really gonna push for that. They're really gonna come in strong with the synchronicities so that you know what you can trust. You know what I mean? So that you know that you you know you're receiving the green flags from the universe to go forward with it. Um, just keep communicating openly with your spirit guides. I'm getting for someone also. Make sure you're communicating with your spirit guides and not with spirits that are pretending to. Uh, and not, don't don't talk to any dark spirits. I mean, and that's just for someone. Like you'll probably know if that's for you, but just be careful. Uh, with you know what you're communicating with. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.